Hi, I'm Elizabeth, but you can call me Libby, and today I have a Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is a clothing subscription service that um, you can set up to like frequency, if you want it every month, every two months, every three months, or you can just do on-demand requests. Um, you fill out a form. That This is, um, I have a style pass, which is I think $60, and I can get unlimited styling for the year. Otherwise, it's $20 a style, but that $20 comes off of if you purchase something. So in the fix as it arrives, you get a poly mailer to return anything that you don't want. Um, and then you get information, they have how to style the items, and they give you a little note up here at the top. So here is my note, and then we'll get into the fix. Hi Elizabeth, happy fix day. It's wonderful seeing you back for another fashion fix. I can't believe that April is now at an end, and that May is here. I hope that this month will come with a lot of joy, and that you're excited for the warmer weather as much as me. I was happy to see you enjoyed your last fix and found two items that you liked, loved, and wanted to keep for yourself. I was also eager seeing that you reviewed the preview and found four items to add to your 55th fix. Wow. For your final items, I was more than happy to send you a top per your request. This, was, this is a three quarters top by Democracy and it will pair perfectly with the Fortune and Ivy blouse for a casually put together spring look that will be completed with a pair of sandals or wedges for a simple look for spring. I can't wait for all of your feedback on the style and fit. Best, Maya. You can say things that you want. Um, if you're like each month, you're looking for something different, um, you can put that in. So I think I said, you know, dresses, jumpsuits, blouses, um, those kind of things for this one. Um, and when you get your fix, comes like this in a little bundle. Oh, that's lemons. I got some jeans in here. A pink, like a movie top. So, yay. So, let's see what Maya sent me. I've had Maya as my stylish, stylist for a while now. <clears throat> okay. This is by Nine Britain. It's the Lizzie Brushed Knit Dress in Navy. Oh, that's cute. It has that um, lattice back and it's got little lemons on it. That is adorable. Um, I love this. The material is great. I have a long one that is styled like this uh, with that kind of like lattice back. So I'm excited that it is a knee length one. Just hope it's not too short. Next is the Fortune and Ivy Blake tie front blouse in green. Um, the material is very nice. It's, um, I don't know what it is. It feels a little like a linen cotton blend, like it would be light and airy. The only thing is I hate three quarter sleeve shirts. It's just the thing. These tab things, I'm, I'm not a fan. And the tie front, it's a little longer here. Well, we'll see. I, not sure about this one. I do like the material. I like the green sort of like lived in washed look, but the sleeves, I don't know what that is. Is that weird? Anyone else have like a sleeve thing where you're like, I don't do rolled or tabbed sleeves. This, this is by Vigos. This is the mauve. Oh, I was right. Mauve cargo jacket. Oh, and pink. Okay. It's a mauve cargo jacket in pink. That's kind of funny. It's just a mauve cargo jacket. So this is one that I saw on their website and I requested to try on. Um, this probably is not going to be a summer because it's, it's pretty hefty and it's not looking mauve on here, but I liked it has the fold over zipper. Um, and it's got the elastic here at the bottom. I'm not sure about that, but um, I just thought it looked really cool and it could be, you know, worn in with a lot, lot of different things. And the color is almost a neutral. I know it's mauve and pinky, but um, I think it would go with tan, white, cream, black, brown, navy, so jeans. Uh, so I'm excited about trying this one on. Okay, 
Up next, what is this? This is Market and Spruce, the Mira Spaghetti Strapped Maxi Dress in Navy. I like, I don't have many plain dresses. Most of my dresses are floral or prints. This was a Walmart special. Um, so it's kind of nice, the thought of having a navy dress. It's just a long it's dress. It's got buttons the whole way down the front. I don't know if you can see those. Maybe you'll see them better when I try it on. And then um, thicker straps, which is nice. And a little bit of elastic here around the back top part. I like this. This could be, this could work. Um, with you know a little like jean jacket over it it could be a solid cardigan a little neck knit, knit knit top or shirt um, kind of over and open that one was, that's cute I like that one and then last is the democracy Catherine boot cut jean in indigo not sure if I'm looking for a pair of jeans but um, they do not appear to be distressed at all I like that Sometimes I feel, you know, kind of like bummy um, wearing my ripped jeans to school. Um, and other days I'm like, thank God, because it's so hot, I get at least a little air conditioning. But this is, these are kind of nice. The Democracy has that stretch panel. We will see, it's a nice dark wash. These are like very classic um, looking jeans and very classy. So, yay, okay. Um, democracy is though a, kind of on the expensive side so we will have to check and see but looks like a good fix there are no like wah 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 the green stripe one not real sure about but other than that I, I like all the rest of them so I'm just gonna try them on and hopefully you will help me figure out what works for me and my my work and my lifestyle so this is the first outfit this is the dress um, this is definitely for a really hot day. Um, I feel like it's okay lengthwise. I love the print with the lemons on it. I'm, you know, not super comfortable exposing the top, but that can be, that can be covered. But I think ultimately it's really cute. It's got the seam here, kind of at the high waist, a little bit above natural, but not much. Um, and then it has the V here and just straps, but you know, it's a little bit of room, it's stretchy. There's a center seam here, but it is knee length. Here's the back. It's got the stretch at the top, so I don't feel confined at all. I think this is really, really cute and great for the summer. Um, <laughs> You know I haven't been out in the Sun so I am pretty pale right now I burn and then I'll turn hopefully brown by the end of the summer but um, this I just think is just super super cute so this is definitely a woohoo I think this is a good one um, I am going to I think I'm just gonna put my jeans on and then try all of the different kind of combinations of the tops and then end with the navy blue dress so I will be right back hold on just a second Okay, so here is the second outfit. Um, I have the jeans on. They, um, I think they're okay. They're, a, I mean, they're definitely the kind that have the panel that holds you in. Um, but I like the boot cut. Here's the back. I like the wash of them. They, um, they're that dark wash and they have the elastic here. They've got real pockets. Yeah, you can get your hands into them and nice pockets back here for things and there is there's room they're snugger than kind of a straight leg or a loose um, a loose fit but I think they they look nice yeah those are definitely those are good now the shirt I like it a little more than I thought I was going to I just undid the three-quarter tab thing um, but is this still a trend? Is a tie front shirt, like am I outdated? Cause it is, it's super comfy, it's relaxed, it's casual, but I feel like it's looks kind of not schlummy or bummy casual. Um, I like the V-neck. The pockets and you know, it's just buttons down the front. It's got the tie here. If it's untied, 
it's weird so it has to, it's not one of those that is straight across you have to actually tie it here's the back you know nice and roomy i think this is you know it's cute but is it out of style that's my question uh, it would be very comfortable even on, i think on a warm day because it is flowy um, i don't know help me out on this one not sure um, i'm just going to put a t-shirt and the mauve jacket in pink <laughs> on we'll be back this jacket is awesome I know it's a little 80s, but it's a little 80s in the best way possible. I feel like it's got stretch here with the bottom. Um, I don't feel like it's short in the sleeves. It doesn't feel restricting. I like it open, but I could also, I haven't tried zipping it up yet. <laughs> so, so let's see. I can definitely zip it up if it's whatever reason I need, like, that will never happen. I don't wear up around my neck, but um, this is super cute. I <laughs> I love the color, but even more, I really like the style. Here's the back. I got full range of motion. I have just a t-shirt on underneath, but I feel like I could even wear like a light sweater. I've got enough room under the pits. I've got enough room in the arms. This is, <laughs> this is super you. Is it appropriate time of the year for me to buy a jacket? Probably not. But am I going to try to figure out a way if I keep it to wear it? Absolutely. So this is, I, I really like this a lot more than I thought. Let's hope it is not ridiculously priced. Come on sale, <laughs> right? Okay. So I just have the um, navy maxi dress and I will be right back. And lastly, here is the navy dress. Um, and when I first put it on, I'm like, ooh, it's really big, but it has the adjustable straps. So I just tightened them a little bit and I feel now like it is, um, it's a good kind of staple. It comes down to just above my ankles. It's buttoned the whole way down, which is kind of nice. It comes up sort of not too low here. Um, which I feel is good because sometimes they're like really low on the sides and they are not bra friendly, but this one I believe is. Um, this I think is, like I said, it's simple, but this is the kind where you can add a big bowl of necklace, you can do um, a belt if you want, you can do a jacket, you, you know, it's got lots of potential. Um, and I don't really own a lot of solid anything. so. It's breezy, it's light. Here's the back. I've got plenty of room, there's stretch in the material and it has pockets. <laughs> so I can stick all my goodies in here um, and carry them with me. I don't like when I don't have pockets. I think it's a comfort thing, I, I don't know. But um, yeah, this is cute too. This is This whole box has been very, very good. Maya did a wonderful job. So what do you think about this one? I have a, let me get my jean jacket. I kept from the last one. I won't ignore my closet. But here, if I just put like a jean jacket on top, you know, it changes it completely. It's still very cute. It's still very casual, but this is definitely, I could wear this you know, going out to dinner and I wouldn't feel, I'd feel like I was put together. So, you know, that is kind of cute. And this is one that I could definitely parlay into the fall and put a pair of uh, tall boots on and, you know, brown boots and maybe a brown jacket or cardigan. I think this is another winner. So it is really going to come down to the price of these items in this fix. So let me get my original dress my Walmart special put on and then we'll go through and check out and see what all of these cost. Okay, so now is the moment of truth here, right? So they do give you, like I said, the little suggestions um, on one. There's also a pricing guide. 
So let's see. Let's start with this. This is the Market and Spruce Mira Spaghetti Strap Maxi and Navy, and that's a one X. And this is $68. So pretty right on for the cost of um, dresses for styling. Uh, subscription services my last one that I posted last week uh, the dress was like 78 I think for a short summer dress so um, this was I think this was cute I might look and see what the sizing is there and if I can go down one size I'm not sure I don't know how um, they work between like the women's and the regular whatever that means Okay. The 80s, my 80s ladies. Okay, let me find. Here we go. It is Vigoss. It's the Mauve Cargo Jacket in pink, also in a 1X. 89. Okay. I was hoping for a little bit lower, but that's definitely one that I can wear, you know, spring, fall, winter. So it's kind of a three season one. So uh, not cheap, but not too terrible. These ones are the Democracy. This is the Catherine Bootcut Jean in Indigo. This is 16, they're 98 bucks. Yeah, they're, they're expensive. Democracy and oh, what's the other brand? Liverpool. Those are both kind of pricey jeans. I tend to buy jeans in like the 60 or $65 range because when they're on sale I can get them for like 50 bucks but um you know I don't know I don't own boot cut at all I've never owned boot cut jeans I own I went from skinny jeans because you know 2000s um to more of a straight leg which I've been wearing for the last little bit so I don't own boot cuts um, so I'm gonna have to think about that one this one is this was the surpriser of them all for me. This was the Fortune and Ivy Blake tie front blouse in green. This is 44. Oh, that is not bad at all. Um, the material is lovely, like I said, very breathable. It's relaxed without feeling kind of dumpy and frumpy. But once again, are tie fronts out? Will I look outdated if I wear the tie front shirt? I have no idea, so please let me know. Do you own tie front? Do you see people with tie front? Do they make you think old person? <laughs> like, I don't know. I like it. I'm, I'm shocked, but I like that shirt a lot. And I think I could wear it with a long flowy skirt. I could wear it with jeans. I could wear it with a jean skirt. Um, I could even put a solid color dress underneath there and use it as kind of a cover up. I could use it as a cover up for the beach. So that is very versatile. I'm just so surprised. I, I like that as much as I do. And then last is the Nine Britain Lizzie Brush Knit Dress in Navy with the Lemons. Where am I? It's 48. That's a good price for a dress. Because I went to the Target the it was a couple weeks ago now looking for um, probably looking for an Easter dress. And um, they were 35, 40 bucks. So having this be 48, which I know it won't shrink because I've bought from them before, that's pretty good. So, let's see. The Stylist Picks subtotal is $347, not too bad. If you keep all, you get a 25% discount, so that takes out $86.75. So the order total for all five items would be $260.25. Shipping is free, so it would just be $260.25. Not bad for five items, including a pair of jeans that were a hundred bucks. Wow. And the jacket for 90, just those two pieces are 190. If I kept the other three, it would be $70 for three pieces. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know on this one. Um, if I don't get the jeans, it would be 247 ish 245 which is cheaper than if I kept the jeans and got the full discount and if I 
I don't know. What do you think? Please help me with this one. My math is not a strong suit. Um, I definitely like a lot of the stuff in this box though. So yay, that was exciting. I'm going to be sure to um, write my notes and my comments whenever I check out. Um, I still have my box from last week. I extended my checkout just so I could do the comparison. I think that box is going completely back. Um, I don't think there's one thing that I'm going to keep. The t-shirt was like 50 bucks in it. So uh, I think that one's going back. But anyway, let me know what what you would keep, what you think was would work for me, and what you think I need to just send back and, you know, try again. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you're all safe. I hope you are all enjoying what is starting to be nicer weather. It's been raining the last couple of days here, but skies seem to be clearing. So take care, and I will talk to you soon.